collection Patrick's dress and I'm going to check out my room. If you're looking for a place to have lunch or brunch, come to Nabel Yangska in Might. If you want to relax, take in some fresh air and enjoy nature, a few blocks down from Nabel Yoska is Volks Park. Don't forget to check out the Spree River. is the Marion Kirk, which is right behind me. And I'm gonna go check it out. On the same plaza, you will find St. Marion Church. You will find the TV tower and the Neptune Fountain and right behind it, Rat House or City Hall. Right around the corner in a very beautiful pathway is Nikolai Church. So I'm gonna go check it out. Go back down the waterfront and you will come to Museum Island. Continuing with our tour of Berlin. Today we started off our morning with breakfast at Hermann Eck 
So check it out if you're in Berlin. Near the cafe, Hermann Eck, right off the stop Norbenhof on the train is part of the original Berlin Wall. So check it out guys. So this is how the city of Berlin was divided in east and west by the wall. This is cool. The most iconic sites in Berlin is Brandenburg Tor, which is Brandenburg Gate. If you're in Berlin, you must take a picture here. There it is. After you leave Brandenburg Gate, if you walk to the right, you will end up at the Reichstag building. You need to register online in order to get inside. Walking across Tiergarten Park from the Reichstag building over to the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe. Berlin Mall, it's Potsdamer Plaza, and here you can find original pieces from the Berlin Wall.
in Berlin and we just had breakfast at a cafe called Flamengo. Highly recommend. They have a lot of choices for every single taste. Flamengo fresh food bar. So come and try it. One of the iconic structures in Berlin is the Berlin Cathedral or Berliner Dom. So if you're in Berlin, make sure that you come and visit. It is located in Museum Island, which we're going to visit right now. For those of you who like museums, Museum Island is perfect. You can hop from one museum to the next and they're all located in the same area, including the Berliner Dome. Right behind me, next to the cathedral, is the Alps Museum. <laughs> Another museum to visit on Museum Island is the National Art Gallery. It's right behind me. Right next to the National Gallery is the Pergamon Museum. If you want to learn a little bit more about German history, don't miss the German Historical Museum on Museum Island. Thank you.